Hello, welcome back dear students. So today in our virtual lab, we are going to discuss the experiment study of CNS depressants and stimulants using actor photometer. Here we go. First, I will click here. Then I will click to start the experiment. So this is the equipment actor photometer. Let me give you a short introduction about actor photometer. Actor photometer has a central chamber with arrangement of light sources and photocells at the base of two opposite walls. The light of each source is focused on a photocell. Any interruption in the path of light activates the photocells and this is counted as a measure of horizontal locomotor activity of the mice kept in the chamber. So this is a brief introduction about our instrument that is used for the experiment. Next, moving on to the experiment. So here the instructions provided are animals are divided into two groups. Administer one group with the drug to be tested and the other by the vehicle by oral route. Put one animal at a time in the active photometer, start the instrument. Count the locomotor activity within 10 minutes. Repeat the procedure at an interval of 30 minutes. Record the observation. Test drug injected is diazepam, 1 mg per kg given orally and locomotor activity is measured twice as stated above. So these are the instructions we need to follow to perform this experiment. So now let's see how the drug has been administered to the animals. So this is a video. its entry onto food pipe and avoid damaging the wind pipe. When the cannula is completely inserted, inject the drug volume orally. So we can see now these animals will be divided into two groups. So students, after administering the drug, you can see the animals have been divided into two groups that is vehicle treated and drug treated and this is our device that is active photometer. Now I am selecting an animal from the vehicle treated group. I am clicking here. So here I am going to see the locomotor activity. So this locomotor activity will be taken for care for about 2.5 minutes. So I'm going to observe the activity. See here, this is the cage lead. These are the light sources. This is the animal which is moving and this light sources is going to sense the movement of the locomotor activity. And this is the active photometer device. So this way this mouse keeps and continuously moving over here. Here you can see the reading of the digital active photometer that is being shown. See here the reading is given 74. This is a digital active photometer and that was a cage lead. And here on this virtual lab, I'm going to show you for about 2.5 minutes. So let's see how it continues. See, you can see the counter is getting increased 167. So this counter number will be our locomotor index. Okay. And this reading has been taken for about 2.5 minutes. So we are going to wait for 2.5 minutes and see how much time it is taking to show its locomotor activity.
see the counter is 167. So the locomotor index is 167 in case of vehicle treated. So now I am going to select a drug treated. So I have clicked here and it has started. And here also I am going to measure for 2.50 minutes. And here the drug that have been injected is diazepam that is given orally. See, you can see the counter or the locomotor movement is much, much slower. See, here even the active photometer activity, if I make it big, see it is showing a digital active photometer showing its reading as 74. Digital active photometer reading, it is showing 74. See, we have crossed even one minute and it is just showing 12 counter or you can say 12 locomotor index. That means due to injection of diazepam, the locomotor activity has been decreased. So, the drug anticonvulsant and anti-anxiety activity can be very easily determined on the mouse. You all can see we are about to reach 2.5 minutes. We waited for 2.5 minutes to see the locomotor activity. And here you can see even we have extended the time but still we are getting only 15. So with this you, you can see that the locomotor activity has been very less when administering Tazapam. Let's see the observation table. See in the observation table, the locomotor index was 167 in case of control and drug treated it was just 15. So this you ignore, this is not. So you can see the difference here. So now going back to the experiment, therefore dear students, as a conclusion you all can write that the locomotor activity is much increased when vehicle was administered as the locomotor index was found to be 167. But on administering the diazepam, the locomotor activity got reduced to 15. So the anticonvulsant and anti-anxiety activity can be demonstrated using the instrument actophotometer. So, dear students, this way the anti-anxiety and anti-convulsant activity of the drugs using actophotometer has been demonstrated. Hope you all have understood. For further explanation, we will have a discussion on the live session. Thank you for watching the video.